Hello, welcome to my poster presentation. My name is Daniela Sandra. I am a physics PhD student from Argentina and I work at CONICET as well as my advisors Luis Diambra and Nara Isoy. In this work, I infer the differentiation trajectory for human epithelial breast cells by using single cell RNA-seq data publicly available. First, I analyzed each individual separately. I'll show you the results of individual number four, but I performed the same workflow for each uh, donor. The analysis of individual number four can be summarized in figure one. We obtained three main clusters, uh, which after some differential expression analysis, we annotated as basal, luminal one, and luminal two. In figure 1D, cells are represented in the UMAP space and colored by the cell differentiation activity level. For any biological process, we can build a protein-protein interaction network where proteins are the nodes and the edges are the links between the proteins and can be computed as the multiplication of the expression levels of those genes. Then for each cell we can sum up all the edges and after some normalization that is detailed on the poster we can compute the activity of any process. In this case I computed activity of the cell differentiation network and as you can see in figure D the highest activity is shown in the basal cluster. Then I performed another dimensionality reduction technique called diffusion maps and the main idea behind uh, this algorithm is assuming a diffusion process between cells so that cells that are similar and closer in uh, the PCI space uh, have a higher probability of turning from one to the other, uh, of kind of making it a step. Uh, so after this, uh, applying this dimensionality reduction algorithm, I obtained uh, this uh, plot, which is figure 1a, and then I colored the, the cells by the cell differentiation activity. So one can see that in the basal cluster, mm, the higher the highest activity levels are seen. And then I uh, you performed some uh, se pseudo time ordering, uh, which is a figure to see, where I selected the root as the cell with the highest uh, cell differentiation activity. And then uh, a trajectory was inferred to to the terminal cells which are in L1 and L2. Then I integrated all the data sets so that I could analyze all the individuals together simultaneously and performed uh, clustering and differential expression analysis as you can see in figure A, B and C. Then I applied the diffusion maps technique in figure D and computed the cell differentiation activity and as you can see the highest activity levels were located in the basal cluster. Then I performed pseudo time ordering by setting the root as the cell with the highest uh, differentiation activity level and uh, inferred the trajectory and obtained that cells originate 
uh, from the base oil cluster and differentiate into luminal 1 and luminal B in a branching process.